Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Today I'm back out on the property. I need to grab the grapple. I've got to create some new slots in there for the pins to be able to, to hold it on to the new uh, setup for the uh, skid sear attachment that we just created for Big Blue. So I need to go gra grab that, get all set up, and then we'll start to it. I've got some new elbows from Princess Auto here that will go on here to create a 90 so that it's easier to come out of the hydraulics in the back of the tractor. And that's what that'll look like, but we just need to get it all tightened up. But I need to work on the grapple first. Last week we chalked them up. So I've got to cut back to that chalk line on each side. I guess I'll use the grinder to do that. Well, all right, guys, this is super exciting. We got everything plumbed in, lined in, tightened up, and uh, ready to go. But uh, we just checked our hydraulic level on the tractor and we need to add hydraulic fluid. We thought we had some here, uh, but we don't. We're all out. And the closest one is an hour away and an hour back. Uh, so we won't be able to do that in this video. Um, uh, so close. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so happy. It's all connected, it's ready to go. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing this one and let's have a look at this. So I guess I could take the plastic off here and uh, we got the, the holes widened out for the pins. That's all good. Um, we need to do some finagling here and cut a little bit off here so that this can swing by it um, because it's getting stuck right now. But uh, because this is an attachment to our old one, it's already got kind of a quick connect here and this pin. So we can just pull that off and leave that connected right to the tractor. Uh, got the hydraulics here in a loop so that way we've got enough so when the bucket tilts right that it that it uh, will come out and uh, won't pull on the hydraulic lines too much but boy this thing sure looks like a beast man oh 
This is super cool. And my stepfather did all the, all the welding on here. Again, we've got the pins in. They're all, it's all tight. That's all good. Oh, I'm super excited to try this. I'm thinking that all these ones here are tight. Just a thing to take note of here. Uh, when you buy something like this, none of the hydraulic hoses on the ends uh, are tight. And they're the flat face connectors. They're a half inch. Uh, we bought ours from Princess Auto. Uh, you saw that in the last video. Uh, getting the hydraulic lines and all that stuff was set up was, uh, was super fun. So give me a minute. We're going to get some hydraulic fluid. Uh, it'll be next weekend. And then we're going to get started to work on this thing. I thought I'd just take a ride over here to the trailer here for a minute. And uh, the grass is already sprouting from where we seeded it there in a couple videos ago. Oh man, this is super exciting. Oh, this is so cool. All right. And it seems we have some bad news about Oscar. Uh, looks like we wait a little bit too long, but there is some good news here is that there are little baby Oscars growing all over the place. And in here as well, there's a bunch of cedar trees. Uh, it breaks my heart that Oscar didn't make it, but we're going to leave Oscar planted here just to see, but I really don't think so. Uh, breaks my heart. My daughter's been growing this tree for several years and uh, we waited one year too long. On other good news, my red pines are doing extremely well over here. This is super fantastic. And we have a little bit of a surprise right here. And these here are four containers. One, two, three, four containers of red pines. There's 330 in a uh, container here. Here's an empty one. So we're getting all these ready to plant uh, at uh, my sister's property, my brother's property, my stepfather's property, and mine. All right, guys. Well, it is the next week. Uh, Elijah moves just a little bit. You can see that we got some hydraulic fluid here for uh, Big Blue. So we're going to get the hydraulics uh, filled up here. It's going to be uh, not so fun because there's no space to really pour this. So we're going to try our best and see where we get. Alright, so we're just getting a quick leak check done here. You can see we're getting a little bit of leaks here and up at the top as well. So we're going to get to fixing that and we'll get back to you. You're not closed yet, eh, Dad? All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, we got the hydraulic system all set up. Obviously, I need to get used to running this. It's my first time running the grapple here. And uh, it would be really nice to have a third function diverter on the uh, control arm for the bucket for, you know, raising, lower and tilting and all that stuff. But we don't, we're just using the rear uh, hydraulic remotes on the tractor. Uh, so there's a lever that is way separate from uh, where the handle is for the bucket. So I'm gonna have to get used to that one. All right, guys, if you like this, uh, we did get these parts from Amazon. We'll leave that uh, link down in the description for you. Uh, if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button to follow along. It doesn't cost you a thing and it sure means the world to us. And until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.